Hey guys, so I'm going to be preparing this hairspray for you. This is for those that feel their hair has a smell and they want to take care of it. Most times when people spray perfume on their hair, but this is a complete no-no because perfume can dry out your hair and cause dandruff. So applying perfume for your hair is not too good, but I'm going to be showing you the kind of spray you can make that will help you. We are going to be using three major ingredients today, rose water, aloe vera gel and some lavender essential oils rose water is very beneficial for your hair because it's a mild astringent which can help to reduce oiliness and dandruff sometimes when you have excess oil on your on your scalp and on your hair it can lead to itching and can lead to smells but by the time you apply some rose water rose, using rose water is going to help you to reduce oiliness and dandruff it also has antibacterial and antifungal properties. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which is beneficial for scalp conditions like eczema and psoriasis. Rose water's fragrance is calming and soothing. So the fragrance of the rose water can help to like give you the smell you're looking for in your hair. Rose water can also add shine to your hair and calm down frizz on your hair. People even say that by the time you use some rose water in your hair, if you have a headache, it's going to help you to relieve the headache as well. Aloe vera on the other hand has moisturizing properties and nourishing vitamins which will help to nourish your hair. Apart from lavender oil adding some fragrance to this mixture, lavender oil is also safe for your hair because it promotes hair growth, it prevents hair thinning and its overall benefits for your scalp and your hair cannot be overemphasized. That is the reason why we are using these three major things. So I would advise you to get a spray bottle. You can use a spray bottle if you have anything that you can use to apply stuff to your hair and add some of your rose water. We're going to be adding some aloe vera gel as well. And the last is the lavender oil, just about two to three drops. Just going to go ahead to give this a shake. So when you've done this, so the any time you want to just grab your perfume, don't grab your perfume, don't use perfume on your hair. This is what you should use. So just sprinkle this on your hair and just rub it all over. I prefer using a spray bottle, like something that can just spray like in puffs, but if you don't have, this is also very okay. So anytime you want to spray your hair, remember that perfume can dry your hair because of the alcohol and can lead to dandruff and very ashy and dry scalp so this is better for you to use if you want sometimes you can add some else to it as well so that it can moisturize your scalp as well the smell of this is so amazing like you don't have to worry about smelly scalp or smelly hair itchy hair it takes care of everything all at once dandruff that is why i like mixing all this together so you can be assured that you're taking care of dry hair smelly scalp itchy scalp dandruff all at the same time so this is something that is very good for you if you are looking for how to take care of your hair and if your hair has any kind of smell so this is my video for you guys today if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to share as well and please join me on my second channel Tomi Adenuga where I share my cooking and lifestyle experiences I'll be looking forward to seeing you Stay beautiful because you are beautiful. I'll see you in subsequent ones. Bye!